Hello, Alan Ryder, Southeastern Railway Museum, and I'm standing next to our shop air compressor because this video is about something a little different. We don't uh, only work on our railway equipment, we've got to keep our shop maintained, and the shop is asking for some help. In this case, we've got a couple of uh, leaks in our main air lines, which go way up in the air and across and around the shop. So that's what this video is going to be about just making some repairs on our airlines. So this building's about 50 years old and uh, used to be a freight car repair facility. And of course, being 50 years old, stuff wears out. And what happens is pinholes develop in the airlines, mostly because water, possibly other things. And uh, so this is what we use to repair them. That's a repair clamp, they're pretty common. All the airlines are two inch, so other than having to go up in the air, it's not a terribly difficult project. So here's our airline, and you can hear it blow. And I'm, you know, kind of up in the air, shall we say, which is no fun. I'm not, li I'm not liking this, but it's got to be done. The biggest challenge with fixing this is we've got two other airline or two other pipes above it. So I have to drive wedges in them to get them out of the way so I can get the clamp around them. And got to clean it up. So that's the next thing. Repair clamp is on. All we got to do is take the wedges out and we're done. So in the process of fixing the one airline, our eagle-eared uh, friend Ryan found two more leaks. That's pointed at one of them. Those leaks are like two or three small pinholes in a row. Rather than using the shorter repair clamps, I've ordered these 12 inch ones. So we will proceed to make some repairs up there. All right, we gotta raise this pipe, raise this pipe up a little bit yet. And clean it. I'm going to send it back down, okay. and I need one of those big wedges. Yeah. Or whatever you can find. Big metal one? Yes. Got to go up some more. Big noise.
quiet. Mission accomplished. All I gotta do is just take the wedges out. Okay, wedges coming out. Yeah. Well, I nearly lost a finger on that one, but it came down and pinched my finger, but uh, that wasn't very clever. Make sure my hands are out of the way this time. Coming down, watch out. Hammer. Well, that was the last of the four leaks taken care of. So now I can get back to doing uh, railroad type stuff. And uh, thank you very much for watching and come see us sometime.